Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing a tag. This is the... I actually... <laughs> I forgot the name of it. It's like something... Well, it's all about eyeshadow palettes, basically. And the tag was started by Samantha March and Ali Glines. So I'll leave their videos down below. But I actually first saw this video from... Ashley Clayty, I think that's how you say her name. So I'll link everyone down below. I thought the idea of this tag was pretty exciting because I love eyeshadow palettes. If you guys didn't know, I have way too many. Um, but this is just like a chance for me to talk about them and show you guys some things that I think I've never shown on my channel yet. Well, especially the new ones. So we'll just get started. I took all the um, categories down in my notes so I'll be looking at my phone if you're wondering and here's my mess in the background but that's what we have to work with so <laughs> anyway the first thing is the newest palette in your collection I actually have three <laughs> because well I'll just explain it so the two new newest palettes in my collection that I bought myself, and I'm saying there's two because I bought them at the exact same time in the same order. So the first one is the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collab. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. Um, I think you won't have seen that video yet, but this is the palette to give you a sneak peek. Uh, I love it so much so far, so... Yeah, that's one of them, but in the same order, I bought the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Palette by Stacey Marie. So this one is another colorful palette. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, it actually also has two highlighters here. So people are like raving about this on YouTube, and... I heard about it from Makeup by Cheryl, which is one of my favorite YouTubers, and she doesn't even do like a lot of super crazy colorful um, looks, but even she was saying this is like one of her favorite palettes. So I'm really excited to play with this. I got it on sale when I got the Nikki Tutorials collab. Because, you know, ordering from Beautylish when you're in Canada, you might as well make the most of it. <laughs> because you're paying for shipping and duties and everything. But I'm actually really excited about this and from what I've heard, it's amazing. So yeah, I'll probably do a whole video on that palette even though it is the oldest one. I think there's like two or three new ones since this one. They're all like the carnival kind of theme with Stacey Marie. I actually don't know who that is, but yeah. Um, but the reason I have three is because if you count BoxyCharm, this is technically the newest palette in my collection because it came in my September BoxyCharm. This is the, uh, the Queen palette, I guess, by Eloise, I think. I haven't used this yet, um, but I'll show it to you. It looks like this another colorful <laughs> palette um yeah i think it looks really pretty it's more like jewel tones i guess you'd say so yeah i'm excited to play with this one too so those are my three new palettes the next category is um your oldest palette and that is my Too faced chocolate bar palette this is the first palette i ever bought it looks like this. This is actually the new one because um, if you guys don't know like my whole YouTube story, I only started wearing makeup when I was like 30. <laughs> so um, I'm late to the game on a lot of things. So even though this is my oldest palette, it's the new version that has like the names written in. So it's not that old. It still smells like chocolate. I love this palette. I have a video on it that I'll link down below. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy I bought this because it's like a neutral lover's dream. Um, and I think this palette stands the test of time. Like it's still a really good formula. 
even though it is an older palette on the market. So that's my oldest palette. Then we have the most expensive. And I think you'll find this a little surprising. So the most expensive palette is my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. And I haven't used this yet, so I can't give you much more details on it, but it looks like this. Super beautiful. Um, the reason I say you might be surprised is because, well, if you guys didn't watch any of my other videos, but if you did, you know that I have Natasha Denona palettes. So this is actually more expensive than Natasha Denona, which I feel is a little weird. Um, but it's because in Canada, this palette is $88 and the Natasha Denona palettes are 86 so this is my most expensive palette. I didn't pay $88 for it though. I would never pay that much for Huda, Be Huda Beauty palettes, but uh, I got it, I think it was like a Canada Day sale. And I think I got this for 50% off, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I own this palette, but I haven't used it yet. And my most affordable palette, so on the opposite end is, well, are, because I have two of them. So my most affordable palettes are the e.l.f. Bite Size, what are these called again? I think these are called Bite Size eyeshadow palettes. I'm counting these as eyeshadow palettes because, first of all, they're both full palettes for me because there's like mattes and shimmers in my, like, in colors that work with my skin tone. So I consider these palettes. I know a lot of people say like a palette is like, I don't know, a certain number of shades. But for me, anything that's not a single eyeshadow is a palette. So I am counting those. These are, oh, I have a video on these as well. My Walmart video, I'll link that below as well. I hope I remember all of this. <laughs> But these are less than $5, so definitely my most affordable palettes. And the next category is um, an everyday palette. So I actually, why do I have two of these? I don't know why I put down two of these, to be honest. I guess I wanted one drugstore and one not drugstore. <laughs> I don't know. But I had put the Maybelline nudes of new york palette because i just think this is like a palette you could wear for any occasion you could wear it to work you could wear it just like really quick going out for errands or something because it's very neutral as you can tell but it does also have some good depths if you want to build something up for evening um yeah so i just think this is like a good option to have I think I've only used it once and that may be why I put two because I also said that the Nubian One palette from Juvia's Place would be a good everyday palette but for some reason I don't have it with me. I guess it's at my con- well it is at my condo because I actually brought these palettes from my condo so I could talk about them in this video but I guess I forgot that one. But anyway if you guys don't know I'll put a picture here. Um, it's basically another neutral palette, but not as warm tone as this, I think I would say. This does have some more like plums and purples, and that one is really just brown. So I think both of those are very like easy everyday palettes. And my most colorful palette. I really should have reviewed this before starting this video <laughs> because now that I have the Carnival palette, I think it beats this one out, but I had put down my Norvina one. So let's compare them. So this is my ABH Norvina collection volume one. Yes, Pro Pigment Palette volume one. I've never used this on my channel, I'm pretty sure, but I did use it once in real life. Actually, it was Halloween <laughs> last year. Um, so this is what it looks like. So as you can see, very colorful, but I, yeah, I think this one, I think this Dace Marie beats it out. 
and the Nikki tutorials is very colorful as well, but also the shimmers are not what I consider super like bright. Because when I think colorful palette, I think like rainbow. So that's how I'm interpreting this. But let's compare these. Oh, I don't know. They're both. They're both colorful. Um, <laughs> I guess maybe, okay, maybe in color variety, the Stacey Marie Carnival palette beats this one because this one has a lot of purples. So, but this one has like blue, purple, orange, yellow, green. Yeah, so I guess my Carnival palette also is in this category. But yeah, before that, this was my most colorful palette. And my smallest palette, which I do consider a palette, is this. This is my Kaja... I don't remember the name, something, Bento something, I don't know. Um, but it has only three shades like this one, this one, and this one so like I said before for me a palette is anything that's over one pan of eyeshadow so th yes this is a palette in my eyes this is the toasted caramel one I actually have I think it's orange blossom I actually have no idea. I have another one like this, <laughs> but this is my oldest one of these. So yeah, that's my smallest palette. Smallest in that, in also size. I took that into account because I do also have a three pan Smashbox palette, but it's larger than this. So this is my smallest one. Oh, and then my biggest palette is definitely this one. This is an e.l.f. Um, I don't think these palettes have names. It's the palette that comes out like every year for the holidays. It's like the 100 color palette, something like that. So yeah, this is definitely my biggest palette. I've used it before and I actually thought, like I was pretty impressed with it because Normally, like when palettes come out like this huge, especially around the holidays, it's like bound to be a disaster. But I actually did like this when I used it. So I haven't really played with the colors that much. But yeah, I think this is like, if you are like new to makeup and you don't have a lot of palettes and you want something from the drugstore that's like more inexpensive and something you can play with, if you can get this, I would consider it. I think it's, this is $15 Canadian, so it's amazing. Oh, and then we have the palette that you have the best memory with. So this one is my Modern Renaissance palette. So this one, I'm sure you guys all know what it looks like. Here it is. This. Um, I put in this category because I got it for, well, for my 30th birthday, we went to Las Vegas, my mom and my aunt, and it was a really good time, and it was like around the time that I started being really obsessed with makeup, and I don't know if this is just like where I live, but in like 20... When did I turn 30? 2017? I guess it was 2017 because I'm 33. So, I don't know. Anyway, around, around that time, I feel like um, makeup was like super hyped up everywhere. And whenever I went to Sephora to like find something that I saw on YouTube, it was like out of stock. So, I don't know what that was about. But this was out of stock and like the ABH and Mario collab was out of stock and like everything that people were talking about was out of stock. I think it was because it was at the time where like people didn't 
like the brands didn't catch up with um, the want yet. And now I think it's the opposite. There's like too much coming out that things just go on sale, which is like very interesting, I feel. But anyway, so yeah, the reason this one is my best memory is because I bought it in Vegas. And I can't remember if I bought this before or after, but I actually won um, the jackpot. <laughs> Don't get too excited. I bet like 17 cents. So I won um a hundred dollars <laughs> because okay my favorite um what do you call it like video lottery game is the Willy Wonka one and that is what I won it on and I got um the Oompa Loompas the wild thing I got on all three screens and that's how I won the jackpot but it was 17 cents because <laughs> it was like my last money but I won and I went to Sephora and bought stuff with that money and I know I went to Sephora twice so even whatever I still associate that with this palette so yeah that's why this one is my best memory I really love this palette though also um, it's a really nice color story I'm gonna do a video with this like a throwback because I feel like a lot of people have this palette, but no one talks about it anymore because it's old. So, yeah. Okay, now it's um, the palette that I think was worth the hype. So, that one was like harder to choose, but I settled on the Dose of Colors Baked Browns because, again, back when I first was getting into YouTube, everyone was raving about these Dose of Color Dose of Colors palettes, these five pan palettes. I don't know, I just feel like I saw them in like everyone's favorites videos, so I always really wanted it. And finally, I got this in a boxy charm, and I was like, let's see if it's really that good. And I really loved it, so <laughs> yeah, I have a video um, where I use this too. I'm gonna have to link so many videos below. But yeah, I just really love the colors um, and how they just are like a gradient that you can use every color as your eye look and it's really easy because you just like blend them all together and they look super nice and I love um, these like more warmer browns as well for my eye color. And the brush that it comes with is actually really good. It has like a little pencil brush tip and then like a blending brush. So the, even the brush is good. So I do think these Dose of Colors palettes are worth the hype. And then not worth the hype. This one was pretty easy for me <laughs> because it's this Kylie the Burgundy palette. I Whenever... I mentioned this in my on my channel. I think I keep calling this the cranberry palette. So there's one thing. I don't even know what it's called. So this was like everyone was like, oh my god, the burgundy palette. And there was like a sign up to get it and all this. And this was before um this was again back when I first got into YouTube and everyone was like raving about Kylie Cosmetics because it was newer and every time she put out something it would sell out in like minutes so one day she had like some kind of sale where like if you spend a certain amount of money you got a free lip thing so of course I was like oh it's the right time to buy Kylie <laughs> so I bought this palette this is what it looks like and, um, yeah, I don't know. I think why I think this, I think why I always call this the cranberry palette is because the shade in the middle, this is like a, that's a cranberry. That's not a burgundy. To me, a burgundy is like a brownish purple. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, and besides that, this, shade is not that good it's a bit like it's like gritty and patchy if you can see 
Like, it's not great. And I don't know. And then, like, after I bought all the Kylie stuff, everyone was like, oh, it's just ColourPop. But was her name on it and I was like oh but this was $50 so there's also that so yeah I don't think this brand like in general is worth the hype I'm sorry I just I don't think so I think it's you're paying for the name basically and I'm not even like I've never even seen the show keeping up with the Kardashians so it's not even like I bought this because I'm a fan either. I just caved for like the hype and I don't think it was worth it. Okay, this one was I think the hardest one to choose. It's favorite palette from a favorite brand. So I don't know if I think this brand is my favorite just because I have so many palettes. Um, but anyway, let's just say that it's this one because I love this palette anyway. So it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina collab. This is beautiful if you can tell. Um, I really love the shades in this palette. Um, the blend is amazing. The color payoff amazing. Everything about this is great. Um, and I think what I love the most, I think I've told this story before, but I wore this for Thanksgiving last year. And after I like finished my look, I went to show Josh and he was like, oh, your eyes look like Thanksgiving. And I was like, that's so cool that I managed to like put the vision that I had into the colors that I used and it actually came out like a Thanksgiving look. I don't know. <laughs> If you guys know what that means, but I used, um, uh, well, I know all over my lid I had the Wigglies shade, which was like really beautiful. And yeah, I definitely used Ginger and Edges, these two shades here. So I just loved it, and I'm really happy that I got this because it is limited edition, right? I'm pretty sure. So that's why I picked this one. I think if we're talking about eyeshadows, Anastasia is like my favorite, but I don't know if it's my favorite brand in general, especially considering like what's been happening lately with the brand. But yeah, I think this is definitely one of my favorite palettes anyway. So yeah, this one. And the last category, is my most used palette. And this was like a bit surprising to me now that I, that I look back on it. But this palette, the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place, I think is my most used. And you might be like, are you sure? Cause that's pretty colorful. <laughs> but when I first started my channel, I did a lot of looks like, dedicated color eyeshadow looks and I always would reach for this one because it has like everything I want but in a more wearable like kind of beginner way because <laughs> um, it has this green which I love the shade Egypt this blue Cleopatra I love that blue I love these two shades here, the orange and the purple, and they look really nice together as well, Morocco and Jezebel. So I feel like I use this like in so many videos and also on my own time. So yeah, this is my most used palette, which I'm pretty surprised about. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!